bit verse trip secret project set. The Soviet Union indeed explored trinary computing as an alternative to traditional binary computing. In binary systems, information is represented using two states, zero and one, while in trinary or ternary systems, three states are used, typically positive, negative, and zero electrical impulses. The key advantages of trinary computing include potential for higher information density, as each trit ternary digit can represent three states instead of two bits representing just two states. Theoretical improvements in computational efficiency and reduction in computational complexity for certain algorithms. Potential energy efficiency, as fewer switches might be needed to represent the same amount of information. The Soviet research into trinary computing was part of a broader exploration of alternative computing architectures during the Cold War period. While binary computing ultimately became the global standard, Soviet researchers saw potential in trinary systems for specialized computational tasks. However, I want to be transparent that while I'm confident about the general concept of trinary computing, the specific details of the Soviet TRIP program might involve some speculation. The historical documentation on this specific research might be limited or not widely available in English language sources. Let's dive into the theoretical foundations of trinary computing. In trinary computing, instead of using two states, zero and one, like in binary systems, we use three states, typically represented as nine is one, zero and plus one. This fundamental difference opens up some interesting theoretical and practical possibilities. Theoretical foundations, information representation. A single trit, ternary digit, can represent three states compared to a bit's two states. This means fewer trits are needed to represent the same amount of information compared to binary bits. For example, while two bits can represent four states, 0, 0, 1, 10, 11, two trits can represent nine states, minus one, one, minus one, minus one, zero, minus one, one, plus one, minus one, plus zero, zero, oh, plus one, plus one, minus one, plus one, oh, plus one, plus one. Computational efficiency trinary systems can potentially reduce the number of computational steps for certain algorithms. Some mathematical operations become more straightforward in a balanced ternary system. The balanced nature means that plus one, zero, and minus one are equally represented, which can lead to more symmetric computational models. Energy and physical considerations. Theoretically, trinary systems might require less energy to switch states. In electronic systems, creating three stable states can be more complex than two binary states. Some early theoretical work suggested trinary systems could be more noise resistant. Historical context. The concept of trinary computing wasn't unique to the Soviets. Mathematicians and computer scientists globally have explored ternary logic. For instance, Georgi Lopato, a Soviet computer scientist, was a key researcher in this field, developing theoretical models for ternary computing in the 1950s and 1960s. Let's delve into the practical challenges of implementing trinary computing. Electronic circuit design. Creating stable three-state electronic components is significantly more complex than binary transistors. Maintaining consistent voltage levels for three distinct states, 9 to 1, 0, plus 1, requires precise engineering. Electronic noise and signal interference become more challenging to manage with three states instead of two. Signal stability and differentiation. Ensuring clear distinction between the three states is technically difficult. Tiny variations in electrical characteristics can cause state misinterpretation. Temperature fluctuations and other environmental factors become more critical in trinary systems. Manufacturing complexity. Existing semiconductor manufacturing processes are optimized for binary systems. Developing reliable trinary logic gates and circuits requires fundamentally different design approaches. The economic investment in retooling manufacturing for trinary systems is prohibitively expensive. Computational architecture. Most programming languages and computer architectures are binary-based. Developing compilers, operating systems, and software for trinary systems would require complete technological redesign. Memory storage, data transfer, and processing algorithms all need radical reimagining. Mathematical representation. Binary systems have intuitive mappings to Boolean logic. Trinary systems require more complex logical operations and representations. Algorithmic efficiency gains must outweigh the increased computational complexity. 
Interestingly, while these challenges made widespread adoption impossible, niche applications and theoretical research continued. The Soviet researchers like Nikolai Brusensov developed experimental trinary computers like the Seton, which demonstrated some practical feasibility despite these challenges. The Seton computer, developed in 1958 at Moscow State University, was perhaps the most famous practical implementation of trinary computing. It used balanced ternary notation and showed some computational advantages, though it never replaced binary architectures. A detailed overview of the Seton computer, a unique Soviet trinary computer that represents a fascinating chapter in computing history. The Seton computer, basic background, developed in 1958 at Moscow State University, designed by Nikolai Petrovich Brusensov, named after a river near Moscow, considered the world's first practical ternary computer technical specifications. Used balanced ternary number system, one, zero, plus one. Word length of 18 trits, equivalent to about 26, 27 bits. Used electromechanical and electronic components. Consumed significantly less electricity compared to contemporary binary computers. Physically smaller and more compact than binary machines of similar computational power. Unique design features. Arithmetic units directly implemented balanced ternary arithmetic, used symmetrical logical operations that were more mathematically elegant, could perform complex calculations with fewer computational steps, had built-in error detection capabilities due to the three-state system, practical achievements, used in economic planning and scientific calculations, primarily deployed in research institutions and some government departments produced a small number of units, approximately 50, demonstrated that trinary computing was theoretically and practically feasible. Limitations could not compete with rapidly advancing binary computer technologies, limited production and specialized use, lack of widespread software ecosystem, higher manufacturing complexity compared to binary systems. Interesting historical context. The setting represented more than just a technological experiment. It was a Soviet attempt to develop a unique computing approach that differed from Western binary computing paradigms. Despite its innovative design, it ultimately remained a fascinating technological curiosity rather than a transformative computing platform. The architectural innovations and mathematical principles that made the Seton computer truly unique. Architectural innovations balanced ternary number system. Unlike binary zero and one, Seton used Manu's one zero and plus one states. This symmetrical system allowed for more elegant mathematical operations, eliminated the need for separate sign bits and mathematical calculations, enabled direct representation of negative numbers without complex encoding. Logical circuit design, developed specialized ternary logic gates that could handle three states, used a combination of electronic and electromechanical components, created circuits that could more efficiently process mathematical operations, reduce the number of computational steps for complex calculations. Mathematical principles, computational efficiency, balanced ternary system allows for more compact number representation. Fewer trits required to represent the same numerical range compared to binary bits. Some mathematical operations become inherently more straightforward. Example, multiplication and division could be performed with fewer computational steps. Symmetrical arithmetic, the plus one, zero, minus one system creates natural symmetry in mathematical operations. Simplified handling of positive and negative numbers, reduced computational overhead for sign management, more intuitive representation of mathematical transformations. Unique design example, imagine representing the number five in different number systems, binary, 101, decimal, five, balanced ternary, seven, plus one, plus one, one, much more compact. Practical implications, reduced power consumption, smaller physical size of computational components, more elegant mathematical modeling, potential for more intuitive computational approaches. Theoretical breakthrough, the Seton wasn't just a computer, it was a mathematical philosophy embodied in hardware. Rusensoff and his team demonstrated that computing could be conceptualized differently from the binary paradigm that became globally dominant.